active. So this morning I'm picking up on the energy of someone who has a major decision that they're standing at the crossroads of making. But it's also like they're trying to balance They're learning how to balance both sides of themselves, the light and the dark. And there's a lot of duality that's coming through, but I feel like the choice that needs to be made is between <clears throat> staying in mental anguish or getting the world. So, <clears throat> with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords, that's 16 Swords, that's Seven Swords. And the Seven of Swords is all about guarding okay. it can either be like guarding your thoughts or there's been some deception and I feel like the deception or self-deception like you're lying to yourself I'm seeing though a choice needing to be made with the activated earth here the key words are power places, ley lines, and trust where you're led. And then you have the here F, which essentially is heaven. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. So it's like you have a choice between staying here in the material world or upgrading waking up you have the parasol Let's see if you can see that the parasol which is a symbol of like the Buddha's wisdom and then you have the spiral portal the dolphin and the key <clears throat> I feel like you're going to choose your awakening. I feel like you're going to definitely choose your awakening, but let's see what Spirit has to say. You've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So you're most definitely going to close this cycle of pain and hurt and what else, spirit? What else does this collective need to know today? the bridge to go to the other side and crossing that bridge is going to close this cycle for you no more mental anguish no more lack <clears throat>
Okay, so it appears that you are You're healing your ego, your inner child. That's where this dolphin comes in here with you. This is playfulness, a willingness to explore like dolphins. Dolphins live their inner child the most outwardly of all of God's creation. And you're healing that. I feel like you're coming out of yourself and living authentically and the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning. You're moving into a new cycle. So when you choose, when you choose the spiritual path, you will most definitely move into a new cycle. Because it's like you chose yourself. You chose yourself. What else is a collective needs to know spirit? chariot so your crown chakra is opening and your solar plexus chakra is also opening in the most magnificent way and it's going it's going to bring you freedom if it's not already bringing you freedom now And you see it's right under the Ten of Voices and the Ten of Materials. That's the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. And it's falling right underneath them. This closing of the chapter and this new chapter, this new chapter is going to bring you so much freedom. So much abundance. So much... Clarity. Your heart chakra is going to open. You're going to be able to house the cosmos within yourself and the star. Yeah, so you're becoming something wonderful. I love this for you. There is so much hope and so much change and so much beauty coming into your life. Like you are changing. You are changing. The wisdom of the universe is coming to you. Inspirations. That's the nine of wands. Man. So walking away from hell and into the arms of the divine. Also the priestess. I don't know who you are, but you're getting a level up like no business. It's crazy. Your intuition's so open. The queen of materials, that's the queen of pentacles.
<laughs> and the Emperor. Yeah, I'm going to say that you're going to just be able to sit back and not give a fuck what other people think. Um, let me pull this deck for some clarification. Yeah, so you are you're got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. It looks like you're on your way to solid foundation. Like, you're activating and you're going to change. You're going to change outwardly. You're going to change inwardly. Everything about you is going to be different. Nobody is going to recognize you once you go through this upgrade. I originally thought that this was going to be a, a live reading, but once I turned the light on and realized that that was the Seven of Swords and not the Two of Swords, it made a little bit more sense to me. Okay. I need some clarification on the Ten of Voices and the Ten of Tears, please. King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. So this I definitely see that you're mastering you're mastering your thoughts you're very emotionally grounded you're going to very quickly see abundance coming into your life and you're you're creating that you may not realize that you're creating that but Queen of Cups with the Ten of Wands, yeah. Overcoming challenges in your workplace also. Let me get something for this Wheel of Fortune, please. I also see a lot of moon energy in this reading, so your intuition, which we already said, your intuition is amazing. Hmm. We've got the King of Swords out here with the Queen of Swords. Wow, you have new love coming in for you as well. Hmm. Nine of Wands. Again. No, not again. Okay. And it fell on the chariot. Yeah, very, very certainly and very, very quickly I see that, um, Very certainly and very quickly, whatever this energetic block is that you have is clearing itself up. Let me get something for the Empress. So you got the Empress and the Emperor out here. Now you've got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. And I feel like, I feel like this activation and upgrade is bringing your, and I felt this way from the beginning of the reading, that is bringing your... I think it's bringing your twin flame into you. You may not know this person yet, or you may have just met this person, and you felt some kind of way about it, but you're maybe still not sure. Let me get something for the Empress, please. Ace 
of Wands, yeah. New uh, new energy. There is new energy coming in. Let me get something for the star. We've already said that, though. But it's almost like the universe is handing it to you. Like, congratulations. Star, please. Thank you. Four of Cups. This is like the um, night after a party and you're just reveling in the energy of like you're just absorbing and bathing in all of that good energy from the night before. You know, four is all about st stability and building on foundation and... <coughs> Yeah, like you're, you've absorbed all that energy from the Three of Cups, and now you're just reveling in it with the Four of Cups. Let me get something with the Nine of Wands, please. Oh, yeah, see, it was out here twice. <laughs> all right. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. And the moon with the priestess. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Like, you're it's so intuitive. Like, you are so... When you know, you know. And you're gonna know. So I don't feel like this... Whatever this energy is that's coming in with the emperor and the empress, the king of swords, queen of swords... Like, I'm actually waiting for the King of Pentacles to come out now. And that would just, like, honestly be fun. Let me get something with this Queen. Thank you. Three of Wands. Yeah, so it's like uh, you're preparing. You're preparing to leave. You're preparing to leave this crappy-ass situation and move into a more spiritually enlightened path. And you're going to change. Like, you're so going to change. You're not even going to be the same person that you were even a month ago once this happens. And the Two of Cups. Okay, so <laughs> this is awesome. There is most definitely new love energy coming in for you. Um, let me... Okay, so let's pull from the Priestess of Light Oracle and get some more clarification um, just real quick to wrap this reading up because you are becoming a Light Priestess. Like, you're just on the cusp of making that choice to flip from this realm to the next realm. Like, you're just on the verge of getting there. What does the collective need to know about this reading? They've got new abilities, talents, and love coming in. What else do they need to know? Okay, Spirit says to switch the deck. I'm going to pull three. Ah, Twin Flame, your soul partner, the eternal connection. That's awesome. Look how beautiful this card is. It's a, that's, see, deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences, of course, of course, because your twin flame is coming in, and hidden knowledge, so, with the key that you, we talked about in the beginning of the reading, and this, and even this 
portal. See the portal? Isn't that awesome? Um, and the parasol, which the parasol really is like in uh, Buddhism is a symbol of Buddha's wisdom and knowledge. So you're going to be given the key to unlock the door to go through the portal. And we see portals everywhere. Here's a portal. Right here's a portal. There's a portal, a portal. So you are going to be given the key to unlock the door to step through the portal to the other side and connect with spirit in the most amazing way and when you do that you may know who this twin flame partner is especially with hidden knowledge the akashic records and the silent understanding she's shrouded in the moon with a cat over you know like she's got a cat on her head sort of yeah so and, you know, we saw that in your tarot card where, where you're tapping into the divine. You are going to be able to unlock the secret You're going to be able to unlock the secret talent that you have to tap into the spirit realm. And that's how you're going to be able to recognize this twin flame connection. You probably already know this person, but it never occurred to you before. And you're going to become so in touch with your emotions and intuition that it'll be undeniable when this person comes into your life. And because it's your twin flame, like, there are most definitely past life influences. We've got earth magic down at the bottom of the deck, so you're probably an earth sign. And forgive me, because I don't know my signs that well. I never really, you know, growing up, I never really, I never really cared, quite honestly. I, I do now. And I don't even know what the earth signs are, but I'm just going to say Virgo because straight off the bat, like, Virgo most definitely stands out to me. So you probably are a Virgo, um, especially with the Queen of Pentacles being out. Um, Virgos are strangely and intensely intuitive. So, yeah, 2415 on my clock. I don't know if that means anything for anybody, but that's your reading. Wow, this is incredible, you guys. I love that for you. So today's, um, today's Saturday, so I hope you guys have a fantastic and amazing weekend. I love you, and I'll catch you on the next one. We are working currently on a um, on a new scriptural lesson, discussion, whatever you want to call it, and I will have that out in the next week or two. I'm still trying to figure out how I can get these longer videos in on one <clears throat> clip instead of breaking it up into several parts, but anyway, have a nice weekend. I love you guys. Bye.